Now, an E-Team exclusive. A new sewer system is coming at a price in Strongsville. Neighbors are split over the project that costs more than a million dollars. So we started digging deeper after residents learned they'd be forced to cover some of the costs, but weren't told how much. The E-Team's Kevin Berry is live in Strongsville this morning. And Kevin, this is not an easy check to write. No, not at all, and good morning, you guys. The officials in Strongsville tell me that those septic, six, septic systems still in the ground are called back to when the community was much more rural, but now the EPA says it's time to upgrade. In the name of cleaning up water runoff, the EPA says the septic systems have to go along Hal Road in Strongsville. The nearly $1.5 million price tag will be split between the city and the street's residents. The cost for each property is determined by a complex formula, so no one knows what they'll owe and it won't be split evenly. Roughly 30 homeowners will have to cover about $540,000. People get the sticker shock of seeing that number coming out. That's where Strongsville Law Director Neil Jameson says there's been pushback. And they get, I don't want to say scared, but they get intimidated by that. The city doesn't know exactly how much the project will cost residents yet. The complicated formula figures that out, and the best guess is somewhere between thirteen and eighteen thousand dollars per property. I think it's necessary, but I'm really worried about the cost. Those numbers are on Nancy Martell's mind. She's worried, even with the cost spread out over twenty years on her tax assessment, it'll make her home harder to sell. I was ecstatic. Diane Lazar says her system is fine, but she's had too many afternoons spoiled by the odors from failed septics nearby. Do I like more money on my taxes? No, but I'm willing to accept it. The city tells us they plan on passing more information along to some of those residents as soon as the city council passes a resolution declaring the project necessary to do. That's a standard part of the whole procedure. Live in Strongsville, I'm Kevin Barry for the E-Team.